this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Bandsoft OS software if you got access to it because it haven't been um, provided for years. The company went bust, it's a whole the dilemma from it, but if you got access to it, I'll show you how you can install it. Also, be aware that this software is not supposed to be running on anything that is 64 bits, but it seems to work. Make your own analysis. You can go and check the green pages or the old OS tables in case you want to check it out. But it is installed as it is. I make no guarantees. Okay, so if you have the installer, you are going to need to install it with administrator rights. Okay, so that's the first thing. So right click on it and then execute like administrator. Then that is going to provide the installations of it. It's going to bring a screen where it's going to ask you if you want to install it or not. I have like a mix of Spanish and English on my screen. And then, depending on your language, I usually install it in English, even though I speak Spanish, so that's my native uh, language. But English seems to work a little bit easier for me. And just click Next, Accept, and Next, all the defaults, Install, and it will run something like this. Okay. Now, once you have finished, you got something like this installed to your computer. So if you double click on it, the first time it's just not going to work okay it's never going to run it's going to crash etc so let's kill it you know it just hangs because before you run it you need to run compatibility mode so you need to go to um well right click on this go to properties and in compatibility mode you're going to click on execute this software in compatibility mode Okay, and I'm going to try it out in Windows XP Service Pack 2. Check if it works. Click Accept. So that's the first thing. Oh, and I forgot something else. You go to the properties of this, and you need to check in the let where's this? In the compatibility mode, you need to run it as an administrator because the software, if you don't run it as an administrator, will not launch. Okay, so now it's working by double clicking it. It's going to tell you that if you want to run it, it's going to hang a little bit on it. But now you should be able to start with a nice disclaimer telling you that nobody is uh, responsible if something happens. So you click next and now you can run your OS software. So usually for category one iOS, it works. Now notice that APV2 is mentioned here. That concept no longer exists, so just forget about it. And unfortunately for APV1, it has a error. So if I need to put a localized special distance, because this distance here is one nautical miles, and according to PenSoft, it's supposed to put to be 0.95 nautical miles. But again, if you're just doing CAT1 or SBS CAT1, then this is good to go. So hopefully this will help you out installing the software if you got access to it. Now, please do not ask me if I have access to the installer because I do, but I do not provide it outside to anybody. So unfortunately, you will need to look for it on your own. So thank you for watching this video.